Our veterans are contributing in so many meaningful ways to thinking about innovations and then executing those. It wasn't fair that the GPS coordinates of someone's birthplace could dictate the choices they have in this world. I thought that maybe, just maybe, I can have even more of an impact in the war on terror if I take on that desperation, which is extreme poverty. When you make a decision in the military, the consequences are immediate and they are profound. People who make decisions are now having far-reaching impacts that extend beyond what they can see. They're affecting people that they don't even know exist across the world. I see that there's a need for moral decision makers. Moral consequences don't manifest themselves in how we're affected. They manifest themselves in how we affect others. For me, as a veteran, this was the most significant lesson I learned. So we have passion. How do we turn that passion into impact? Truthfully, what we need is good leadership. But where can we find good leaders? Well, here's where we find good leaders. We have over two million veterans coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, repopulating every single community across this country. There's no reason that the same innovative thinking that's going on in Silicon Valley can't also happen on Capitol Hill. So I think the challenge that we all need to take back from this day is to think about what are the ways that we can do good as a company, but also do good for the world. Having the opportunity to be entrepreneurs to go to companies and ideate and create. It's, it is a great strength of America. How do we take that sea of goodwill that is out there and before it evaporates, get the best practices that are out there so we actually know what a company should do if they want to be veteran friendly? We can do this because that's the way we were in the military. We never gave an excuse on why something could not be done.